Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to configure the Wygod server with OpenWRT. If you are looking for the Wygod client configuration tutorial, you can check out the notification on the top right corner and I will put the link at the video description as well. So let's get started. And the tutorial is based on this document from OpenWRT.org. So this is the Wygod basics. And I don't think I need to do any introduction about the Wygod uses anymore. So we let's just jump into the tutorial. And for this tutorial, I have one server. And let me just show you quickly. All right, so this in my, this is one of the OpenWRT router and it is working at the Wygod server. So this device is directly connected to the internet and I have an IPv6 and IPv4 public address of this router, right? And next, I have another router, which is my current router, and it is running OpenWRT as well. And this will be set up at the Wygod client. So let me just connect it to it quickly and show you, right? So let me just do a connection to my OpenWRT routers. All right, so as you can see, this is the Wygod client. And this is the Wygod server, right? So according to the tutorial, the first step, we need to install the Wygod package on the server. So we need to update it. Okay, so just update the application database. After the package database has been updated, let's install Wygod. In order to copy that, you just uh, double click and then select copy and on the terminal, you can just right click to paste in. Yeah, just in case you don't know how to use put it. So we'll be configuring the Wygod parameters. So just copy it. We don't need to change anything. All right, so we are setting up our Wygod interface with this LAN IP address of 192.168.9.1 so this will be the gateway for our Wygod client as well and next we need to generate some of the file so let's just copy the command one by one the first command we will give the read and write access to the system and after that we are going to generate the Wygod server key and after that we are going to create a Wygod public key from the generated server key right so just right click and paste in and boom you have your private key and the public key and next you need to generate your pre-share key all right so paste in so now you have three files which is the Wygod pre-share key for the server the Wygod server public private key I'm sorry this is the private key and this is the Wygod server public key right not yet now we need to install the Wygod application on our client router as well so let's go to my client routers and do something like OPKG update it will take some time depends on the speed of your router right so let's do opkg and then install why got this is on the client All right perfect and in order to configuring the Wygod client easily, I will install the Lucy app for it as well. So, opkg install Lucy app Wygod. All right, now back to the tutorial. And in order to set up a peer, we need to generate the private key and the public key for our client as well so 
I will run this command again, but on my client routers, and it will be why well, got gen key. I'm sorry, before generating the key, we need to give the read and write permission to our system. So let's run you must. All right, and now let's do a Y got and then chain key. And this time it will be Y got client dot key. And then I will be generating the public key from the client key as well. All right, so we are having the Y got client key and the Y got client public key, right? After that, let back to the server. Wait, our server. All right, so this is our server. So if you look at the tutorial, here we have the Y got client dot public key and we are not generating it. So we need to transfer this Y got client dot public key from our client router to the server. However, I will not do in that and I will just create a new file and then copy and paste my client public key to it. Right, so this is my server and I will do like nano Y got client dot pub right so i will create a blank file and i am going back to my client routers and i will get the y got client dot public key and i will just copy it just right click i'm sorry in command line you just need to select it and press enter and it will be copy and after that, back to the server, right click, it will automatically paste in and press Ctrl X to assist. And you need to save the change, select yes, and press enter. So let's list the file. And now we are having the ygot.preshare key, the ygot client.public key, the ygot server private key and the Y got server. I'm sorry, the Y got server private key and the public key, right? So now let's run this command on the server, of course, right? Very good. All right, so we are at the step three and in this step, we are going to create a VBN network as a private and assign the VBN to the LAN zone to minimize the firewall setup. So let's just copy the command and then paste it to the command line. Click enter and use CI commit firewall. This line will make the change to the firewall and after that you need to restart the firewall. And after that, let's just copy this whole command and paste in. And then, yep, just commit it and then restart. And now we have a fully working YGOT server. So you can check some of the information by running the command UCI show network. All right. So if you look at here, we have network.ygot and we have the interface and we have the private key, the listen port, and the address and the allow IP. So this IP will be our client IP, right? We have done with the YGOT server setup and led back to our YGOT router where we are running at a client. So let's just log into the routers. And before we are able to configuring everything via Lucy, we need to do some of the basics configuration first. So this is YGOT client setup. And we need to declare some of the parameter first. So this is my client and right, we need to set up the YGOT interface. It will be WG0. And next we need to configure the YGOT server public IP address. 
right so this is my servers and this is the public ip address 193.1.8.0.136.162 and let's put it here my mm -hmm. guard underscore server sorry So I should need a two dot so whatever. Right, whatever. And the port. So if you check here, we set up the device with the port number 51820. So we are doing the same for this client. So there's nothing to change. Just copy that and paste in the command line. And then the address. Okay, so the address for the client, you will either get it from the network why got client pub allow IP or you can get it from this command line. So we see that everything just the same. So we are free to copy and paste it. So we've done this initial parameter declarations and let back to the router and go back to network interfaces. And then add a new interface. It will be WG0. It will be why I got VPN, create the interface and get the private key. So this is the private key of the client. So get I got client dot key and paste it in here. Right, so listen port random the IP address, so it will be one eight two that one six a and one eight two that one twenty a. And on the advanced setting, we just leave it blank on the firewall. You need to assign it to the one zone. Why? Because if you read here on the firewall, consider VPN network as a public and assign VPN interface to one zone to minimize firewall setup. All right, whatever. And on the peer, you need to add a new peer. And on the decryption, just leave it there. On the public key, you need to get the public key from the server. So just restart it. Right, so this is the Y got servers and let get the Y got server public key. All right. All right, and the pre share key do the same cat wg dot psk. This is the pre share key. Copy it, paste in, check it, and the allow IP, it will be all the IP. So 0, dot zero, dot zero, dot 0, slot 0, this is for IPv4, and for IPv6, it will be, let's see, tick on root allows IP, and on the endpoint host, you need to set up the public IP of this device so it will be and the post so it will be the default port so it will five one five one eight two zero and persistent keep alive 25 click save and save and apply and in some of the case, you may need to reboot the router in order to have a working connections. And rate, we see there is some packets passing by the YGOT interface and let's do a trade route to verify that. So let's go to system, I'm sorry, network, diagnostics and do a trade route to open the RT.org.
we see that the packet will pass to 192.168.9.1 which is our YGOT server gateway which confirm that the YGOT VPN tunnel is successfully working and you can go to next status YGOT to see some of the PA information and the connection status right so let's just do a speed test all right so and you can see this is the public ipv4 address 193.180.136.162 and this is my public ip address of the ygot server as you can see here right so i have config right so if you see this is the public ip address of this ygot server And basically, that's all you have successfully set up for working YGOT server. And I also show you how to set up a YGOT client as well. And please know that this tutorial is only about how to set up a YGOT server on OpenWRT and how to set up a YGOT client on OpenWRT router. And if you want your client from both sides to communicate with each other you need to do some further setup which is a side to side configuration and you can check it out in the link description i will put it here so there will be some other configuration you can read is it and why god right and for now this is the end of the video so if you have any questions or any idea feel free to leave it in the comment section and as always if you see the video you have fun please like share and subscribe to the channel to support me thank you and see you again bye bye and before i end the video let's go back to interface and we see some more package passing by the ygot interface thank you